G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. As you can probably tell from both the thumbnail and probably the title that you clicked on, we're on the community map. Sure you could have guessed that already. Anyway, we're back where we left off from last episode because this is all part of the same Twitch stream. As always, if you want to watch me live on Twitch, link down in the description. If you want to come join on the community map, link down in Discord. Two clinks, magic. You can watch me live next time I'm on, which I'm about to swap time zones the next couple of weeks because, well, as it gets close to Christmas, because school holidays here, which means I start living more US time, less Australian time, just because it means I could work whilst everybody else is asleep. Anyway, sidetracked there already. I'm going to leave it there, let you guys enjoy the episode. Hello, Hapolis. Uh, or Hapbot. See, if I just give him a nickname, I can't pronounce it wrong, because I decided the nickname. Um, well, see, mate, I was going to put it on this map. But the map's only a thousand tiles wide. Turns out it wouldn't fit. I don't know why. So, you know, there's not a lot I could do. Um, hey mate, we're just mucking around on the community server doing horrible things. Like, about to make an explosive build that... Maybe BV can tell me how many explosives we're aiming for per second? Possibly? How are you gonna test it? Infinity chest and loaders? Nope. Okay. Um, the way to test it is to add 2,048 items onto a single belt in one end and then see if one item comes out on every single belt at the other end. That is the only way to test it. But it's actually designed by a script, so in theory it works. Providing somebody programmed the script correctly. I don't know. Like, I... I Apollos has the script, okay? Have him run the code to do a one-to-one -one balancer and see what it, com what it comes up with. If it can do that, chances are it works fine. Because in that stupid build blueprint book from Reddit, there is a one-to-one -one balancer. <sighs> oh, you wanted to test a uh, balancer? No, I want to know how many explosives I'm meant to make per second. Only just listening. Yeah, definitely part of my community. Just listening to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Loads. <laughs> loads. Loads and loads. Okay. Alright, so that's my belt in for acid trains. Now I just joined your voice chat. 64 chunks by 81 chunks. Yeah. Uh, 2048 by 2591 is actual size in tiles. Wow. Apollos told me it was 64 chunks. I'm like, that sounds big. One a second? That's not possible. To start off with, it's just too many entities for the bots to place down in one second. Let alone... What is it? 1.4 million undergrounds. Now, is underground count as two items or one item in a blueprint? That's count as two. So... I don't know. Hey, Felina. Um... Yeah... You've had a long night? Oh, uh, I accidentally streamed till 4 a.m. last night and... got four hours sleep, ran kids to school, Came back to accidentally stream a little bit more. It's I've only been going for an hour and a half, two hours. Hour and a half and it's like quarter to twelve already. Yeah. Naps are coming soon, right? Alright, I'm procrastinating. Explosive build. You, sir, are going to make sulfur. Uh, we're going to wrap you in your complimentary beacons. That missed. And then copy, paste, Ooh. paste. 
Uh, off to bed, sun's up, 7.47 a.m., great turn to hit the hay. I agree, definitely. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for the raid, mate, as always. I should have done this hours ago, but uh, it turns out all the uh, mods are asleep. Go check out my Kiwi Dan. Uh, he's a great, great guy. He's, 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 he's a Kiwi, which I'm not going to hold against him much. Um... He's also living in Canada, which I'm also not going to hold against him much. Um, he's like the worst version of an Australian with a worst version of an American. Uh, now I get the name. <laughs> See? Spenny Depp gets it. It just requires somebody to pronounce it wrong enough times. And then people get it fine. Kiwi and Canadian. Yep. Yep. Oh boy. Wrong thing. Kiwi Dan. No, he won't tell out what it meant. Not your spelling. Okay. I got the spelling right. Spelling I can get fine. Only because you press tab and it magically spells things. Dean. What? Dean is how you pronounce it. So Kiwi Kiwi Dean. But oh, hang on. Kira Dean? Deanne? Kira Deanne? Whatever. Okay, he's still breathing. Uh so whatever is spotting over his mouth doubt it shouldn't be listened to. Thanks, mate. New game, JD Names. It's it's not a new game, it's an old game. One more time. Key Way Dian. Key Wee Dian. That's way longer than Key. That's way longer than what I was saying. Key Way Dian. You happy? The answer's going to be no. You're still getting it wrong. Well, it's fine. See, he's not happy. You can't, you can't please the Kiwis. Don't stop breathing. I'm not planning on it. Not to the, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight. We'll see how the sleep happening does. Okay. So, 0.8 machines too many. Does that mean I hit a one-to-one -one ratio? Or a close to one-to-one -one ratio after I beacon the crap out of these things? No, that didn't change. Did it? Oh, that would help. No, it means I can do lots of them. Okay, so we're going to do this... Explosives. Actually... Okay, you need a water input only. You need two inputs. Uh, really? Why does people wait this long to tell me? It's fine on the YouTube copy. It's fine on the YouTube copy. That's the important thing. Thank you, mate. Uh, what a mess tonight. That's that's your average JD stream. Uh, I don't know if I can get water into you. Uh, I don't need that. We're going to go with boomsticks. Uh, upgrading my PC this year. Oh, Spenny, you've got a decent PC, don't you? I thought your PC was like 12 months old. Maybe it was 12 months old 12 months ago. That's possible too. No, it's five years old? Dude. Uh, I've had a wild one here at work. Uh, what do you do, Felina? See, like a 1080, you say a 1080, but I know you play first person shooters. So like we're, we're talking about different, different types of graphics load. Um, I've got a 1660 G on a G, G, GT, GTI, GTI, GDX, whatever the special version. I work at an ISP. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Can I fix that? No, I can't fix that. 
Okay, you officially suck. Uh, uh, working at ISP would be um interesting. Landfill. Oh look, it's more children out of bed. Uh, calling it an ISP is far fetched. We've had some pretty significant issues recently. Uh, getting a fifteen, uh, a thirty nine fifty X and a twenty eighty Ti. Twenty eighty Ti is definitely um slightly high grade. Uh. So it's case for too. Like I, 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 I went, I went Intel, as some of you probably know. Um, I went for the ninety nine hundred, blah 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 blah, yeah, CPU, um, which is more CPU than I actually need. Uh, way more CPU. Well, it's a lot of CPU. Um, it's actually so much CPU. I've my graphics card holds up some of my renders and the fact that Chrome uses my GPU actually holds me back when it comes to doing some render work. So I've actually turned off GPU acceleration for Chrome of all things. Oh, did I not? Oh, that would make such a difference. Yes, yes, that would make such a difference. Okay. Uh... I'm going to go delete all of that. I'm going to end up cutting power. Um, pasty, 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 pasty. Oh, pasty. Go back to reading chat. Um, I wasn't going to upgrade and then I went and didn't export at 80 pictures. It took like an hour. Uh, so, my CPU is great. My GPU is a little bit held, holding me back sometimes in my renders. Um, honestly, wouldn't mind a GPU upgrade. But then again, they're not that... It's the easier of the two upgrades. So I went and spent more on the CPU and the motherboard and the RAM and all that sort of stuff because that's really hard to upgrade and left the, 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 the GPU for later. All right. Um, so I'm looking at GPU, but yeah. Um, and I know the Radeons are, they have some cores. They have some cores to spare. Um, I know in single, I don't know about the latest, latest ones. Um, in single core performance, Intel still won slightly, um, which as I'm playing Factorio, which is mainly bound by single core and I build as big as damn well possible. Uh, that's pretty important to me. Uh, would help if you guys had your speed modules. It would make max rate calculator much more happy, please, to have you all running correctly. Uh, now we run that over there. 0.13 something. Add another one. And... Done. Okay, is that my build? 1 to 10? 1 to 10. Okay. Uh, the 3950X is 16 cores and 32 threads at 4.4 gigahertz. See... I think, so mine is, now 4.4 is like the boost speed, isn't it? Uh, biggest possible, and then add some more. Yeah. So mine is a, so it's the 9900, which is eight cores, 16 threads, 3.6 is the base speed, and mine sits comfortably most times at 4.7 gigahertz. Um, yeah, that's the boost speed. That's my thought. Okay. So mine sits at like 4.7. And I haven't even bothered touching the overclocking, even though I'm running on water and everything. Um, I don't know whether I get an advantage out of, what's that, twice the amount of threads. And twice the amount of cores. Um, actually, my renders are currently held up by not my CPU, not my 
graphics card, it's probably my RAM holding me back. Or the sheer amount of data I can shove through a PCI Express lane. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I'm at the point where upgrades are not financially worth it at all. Um, not for faster renders. You know, they're, they're going to be worth it for... Um, for uh, the graphics card itself, it could definitely get an upgrade. Um, just to have more graphics RAM and more higher ability to run everything. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of where I'm up with PC upgrades. Me personally, but yeah, it's always fun building a new PC. Fun and horrible all at the same time because you're building a new PC, which requires, well everything uh i've got petroleum there can i put like okay, okay let's just paste that there if i cut that uh later jmo thank you for swinging by maps open all month i'm sure whatever you didn't break today somebody will help you break or will probably pre-break it for you before tomorrow because that's pretty much how the community map runs uh, okay, if I do that, you're four tiles. You know what? You're three tiles. Of course you're three tiles. Can I fix the? I can. All of you can slide up one tile. We can then go up pump straight to there. Okay, which then means I'm going to put in blasting caps. And we're going to wait for the bots to show up. Uh, fun and horrible since I'm doing a full water cool custom system. Yeah, you were. I, I remember swinging past your stream and you were looking at doing the pipes from work. At which point I'd say, get somebody at work to bend them because they're like all nickel plated pipes from memory or stainless steel, one of the two. Um, but yeah, good luck. Um, so, where are we? Uh, Felina. Uh, I'm hearing, well, I'm hearing we have jumpers on Friday. Uh, so within two weeks, should have another 10 gigabyte transport. All went straight over my head. And yeah, don't tempt the Felina. She might get grumpy. She might not as well, which could be also just as dangerous. I hear things. Okay, so if we do sulfur out there, you're going to produce half a belt. Cool. And then that leaves these guys, which require coal and water. And how much coal and water? A half a belt and half a belt, and a, the water's fine. Okay, so it just comes down to where to put these logically. And there's ten of them. So if I take five, no, nope. five and five, nope, yes, yes, okay, you can delete, I'm going to put five there, five there, uh, stainless. Yeah. Have somebody at work bend them for you. I think the biggest problem when you're going with metal pipes is you have to make sure that your measurements are exact. And nine times out of ten, you need to bend things twice. Uh, oh no, not bend, but cut things. Cut things twice. Uh, we go like that. Yep. Uh, I'm going to rotate you, rotate you, rotate you, rotate you. Actually, I could put the water anyway. Okay, so we'll do the sulfur first, because that's the harder part. Uh, BTG comes and joins me. He's not in chat, but you know, you never know. 
Uh, okay, that's that, that's that. Um, okay, so then we need coal. Actually, hang on, hang on. It was like stuff all coal, wasn't it? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that there, which will give us half a belt of coal. And if I run the belts in the right direction, half a belt of... Yeah, about that. Four lines going to go up. You're how big? You're that big. <sighs> sure. Sure, we're just going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. More importantly, I'm going to get rid of that. Because you can literally go anywhere. You are now literally going to go sit yourself in this corner. Where nobody ever has to look at you again. Less candy canes, more big power pops. Uh, what are you? A wooden box, uh, a box full of wood. Okay, that goes away, that goes away. Uh, I, I literally just put a power pole in my way. Yeah. Okay. Now, Phoenix, it doesn't work. You don't need stack and setters for smelting copper and iron. What? What the hell is that? Okay, let's look it up with beacons. In, out, in, out, in, out. It looks like it works. It looks like it's full of chest stumps. But why, why are we spawning on site? Wrong side of the belt. Uh, output, lane swap, double output. Uh, it should work. Uh, it need Oh, it does need water to burn the wood. Yeah, okay. We might fix that. Fixed. Uh... Okay, so let's get this done first. Okay, that is that coal. Uh, that is... Hmm... Yeah. Uh, no, three, four. Okay, three, three, oh, one. Oh, I'm not having any luck tonight. Uh, okay, done. All right. Apart from the zigzag, which is me just, uh, no, it's pissed me off already. You. Fixed. No more zigzag. I can't do it. Okay, good luck, bots. Uh, okay, so that should give me all the inputs. I've just got to add water and then I'm going to have an output. The output for explosives is going to be a whole belt's worth. Uh... <laughs> okay, 
Um, where am I load explosives on a train? That's probably a better question. So plastic loading, we've got solid fuel here, which could be moved. We've got an acid line there. Plastic's going to be here. Explosives this side. Which means bringing the belt through here somehow. Sure. We can worry about how to do that in just a minute. Uh, that's out of resources. That's out of resources. They're out of resources. They're out of resources. You don't work terribly well. In fact, this whole row really doesn't work terribly well. Hang on. Before I deconstruct it, whose fault? It's Turtle's fault. Show the, the outpost hits the underground. You'll see in a minute. I don't know why we're bringing everything to smelt it here. Oh, it's for a bumper of reds, green, blue, frames, science build? We might be rich, but we're not that rich. And you're not using clocked inserters on this map. Not unless you can convince a pig to fly. And you can only do that if you have catapults. 800 science per minute. 800 science is too big. Community map rules say 500. 500 is the max. UPS dictates it. And in this map, it's probably going to be 250. Uh, has Penguin been back on the map? Not that it started. Uh, Andy Gaming. Hey, mate. Uh, I started playing Angels Mob, and oh my god, it's so different. Yeah. You know. You can't do 800 science packs per minute. Y you're going to get 500 if you're lucky, 250 more likely on this map. Uh, okay, water. So I'm still at water and explosives. Explosives are going to have to go this way. How do we get explosives out there? We're just getting output on the bottom. That's probably the easiest. Which now means run, 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 run. Uh, that tile, that tile. Yep. Uh, there, there, there. There, 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 and there, and substations. Every second one? Of course not. Oh, that'll do. Will it? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that one, then that one. Then that one. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I don't need those. So the only thing... No, I do need... Get, get, oh, I needed those. All right. Uh, explosives. Boomsticks, boomsticks, more boomsticks, more boomsticks... One more lot of boomsticks. Um, okay, so this will give us explosives. Actually, if I flew you out the top, can I get across this without it being entire chaos? Sure. So let's actually remove those. And have a jetty changed his mind moment. And we're going to go... That way instead. Uh... Crap, now my power pole doesn't work. Fine, whatever. Okay, there, there, there. There and there. Water. And water. And you go away. You go away. No, you, oh, you were meant to stay. Oh, 
I'm suffering a bit of jelly and latency. Uh, there. Okay, so if you come up there and you go up there and you get your one belt segment, we should be able to do this and have explosives on a belt, which we're going to run across the coal line. Uh, over uh, wood recycling. That rare report can now go there. We'll remove. Yeah, we're just going to remove that lightsaber. Uh, we're going to go up. We're going to go into the plastic build. Out of the plastic build like nothing ever happened. And then I doubt we have an explosive loading. Maybe we do. Hang on. How many explosives do you make per second? You make 32. And I'm making... 42. I have a feeling I need to double this build. Yeah, there's no access to petroleum along here. Oh, hi, hi, biters. Holy crap. Hi. It's hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Stop it, stop it. Come over here. Uh, lasers. So, part of this community map is every half hour or so, some lucky person has chosen to be the potato. At random. Turns out it was my turn. Uh, hiya Skynet. Taking over the world yet? Actually, I haven't seen the latest Termin Termin Terminator movie. Is it any good? It was. I wanted to watch it, and it didn't happen. Uh, same with Zombieland 2. I wanted to see that at the pictures. And by the time I finally had the time to go see it, turns out it finished the week before. Story of my life. Which is really unfortunate because I really wanted to see that one. And the missus told me that she really didn't want to see it no matter what. Which meant I was going to drag her to go see it. Uh, biters, go away. Stop picking on the robots. There are only two Terminator movies, uh, and the rest are bad. Uh, funny enough, uh, what was it? The the Sarah Jane Chronicles, or the Sarah whatever Chronicles, um, the TV series, was actually really good. I really enjoyed that, and I tend to agree when it comes to the movies. Sarah Connor, that's it, Sarah Connor Chronicles. That was really good, but they cancelled it. You know... You're only hitting like eight million, eight million views per night. It's not high enough. Uh, same here. Kids get sick and I miss Zombieland. Uh, we we literally didn't have any time without children to go see it until the week after it finished. Actually, the day after it finished, the Friday, it, they finished on the Thursday. On the Friday, we had time and it was done. And had I. I think there was one of the old cinemas is delayed by a week. And had I known it was the last week, I would have said, no, that's it. We're going to go to the old shitty cinema and go watch it. Uh, it's decent. Definitely not as good as Terminator 2, but not as trash as the ones after that. Good, good, good. I might go watch it when it comes out somewhere where I can actually watch it. Um, but yeah, it was, I don't know. I don't know, sometimes I just enjoy a good action movie for the sake of a good action movie. Um, like, actually, of late, I've been... I got Disney Plus, because the price they're asking for is like a no-brainer, especially with four kids. And then I've spent more time watching it than anybody else, because I 
have meaning to been meaning to for a very long time go back and rewatch all the old Marvel movies in the John Wick one to three. I have. I saw three, then I rewatched one, and then I think I saw two for the first time. Um, but no, I just went and been rewatching all the Marvel movies in not the order they came out, but the order that they were technically released in according to year timeline. Um, so yeah, and, and it's been really good. I think I've just finished doing, I'm halfway through, I've just finished doing Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've been rewatching the Marvel movies because, well, I, I gotta admit, I, I love Iron Man. The first one's really, really good. Um, okay, so we've now got plastic, we've now got explosives. I just need train stations, which I really don't want to build. Does somebody else want to build some train stations? They're just going to pick up a whole shit ton of oil products and all get into a main line and move these things because these things are in my way. And I really don't want to move them. Okay, so you're receiving concrete. Like a shed ton of concrete. I could leave that there. I could move it further along the main line and just leave it there. Because I'm definitely not moving that buffer. Because Bilbo, you need to be shot. I could move those as well. The trash train can just go away. Uh, did you also include the TV series? Um, yes and no. Your plastic bill is kind of broken. Um, funny enough, like, it, it is kind of broken. Um, probably because these are all facing the wrong way. Like, it's nothing important. Yeah, I know. I click faster than you, you, you do, gain. Uh, maybe one more there and one more there. See, it's it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, what build is that one? Okay, and that belt's around the wrong way. Yeah, so you fixed. Um, <sighs> I can sort out the trains later with TSM. Bilbo, you're a horrible person. We need to talk. Like, I'm a fan of concrete as much as the next guy. But I'm not a fan of it. Tons of it sitting in boxes. Because the boxes are in my way. And that's a lot of crap and a lot of boxes that I do not want to move. <laughs> oh... Yeah, you got a point, Taka. Okay, do you go anywhere? No. Great. You're going away entirely. Just pack up the whole train. Go away. Done with you. Never want to see you again. Okay, iron supply stations. Uh, actually, let's grab this intersection. And we'll go jam you there. And then we'll remove all of this crap. That's enough crap removing. And then I'm going to paste those up th there. Yep. Because this is the first time we've ever gone from iron loading down to a supply station onto wherever else. It's always been load station, pull forward to a stacker right there for supply and then out. But sure. Uh, okay. So if I send you to go there and then cut that, 
and you to go there and you can go away as well slowest train ever there we go if I cut that and I cut that and I cut that you guys don't exist anymore repair load repair supply repair supply if I okay are you officially a dead train are you inside a robot network you are go away Okay, if I take this little crappy train and I send it to the far end of the map before it has a realize to get back here, you know, before it has a chance to get back here, I can probably cut its whole station. Nope. Cut its whole station and put it up here before the poor train even realizes. There we go. And poor robots. Okay, that can go away. Yeah, the whole trash train can go away. I can rebuild that easy enough. I built it from the other side of the map to start with. Which now means you lot can go away. And then we have Bilbo's train. Uh, someone made it. So I moved it over there. Or your fancy artillery thing? Fancy artillery thing? Fancy artillery thing? You mean this fancy artillery thing? Come on. Come on. Solved. Go away. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we have a bit of straight track. Cool. From there, we're just going to extend the line out. Yes, I did just happen to blow up like a million refined concrete, which requires steel to make. Yes. Do I have any regrets? No, none at all. Uh, lol, there's more. Yeah, there's... Um... Where'd that bell go? I think somebody overzealous deconstructed it further than I did. Hey, it ends right there. Yeah, it, it produces... I think... People were talking about it, right? Square one. Uh, it produces... What's that? A red belt of refined concrete. Like, hello? That's a lot of concrete to get down every minute. Hi, BV. Uh, okay, I need to request in... I need to... No, actually, we're just going to trash you up. I need to bring in a thousand rail, please. I need those things. I need those things. I need those things. And now it's just standing. Here. Uh, not everybody understands how to use TSM. I set up the sulfuric acid trained with TSM three times before it refused to not work and then I did a fourth time by deleting everything and starting from scratch. It worked fine. And I changed nothing. Uh, I vote for Bilbo should do wine sprites with the concrete up. Wind, sp uh, wind sprints with the concrete up and down the map. Yes! Uh, hey, Inferior Rook. How... Oh, how are we getting the recipe icon in map view? Uh, this actually came up in my current playthrough. It is. It's a new debug option. Show recipe icons on the map, which I was literally in here looking for. I was looking for this one. So show logistics robots, 
which actually shows construction robots as well, but we're not going to point out the devs made a mistake because I actually like the fact that I can see construction robots as well. But I saw this, and it just makes the game so much easier. Like, we've got nothing... Oh, we've got green circuits marked and, and copper and iron marked on the map. Um, and labs, which, just, just, just for the record, there are no labs where it says labs. By just turning that on... I can see where stuff is on the base so easily. Funnily enough, labs don't actually show up because they don't do a recipe, I guess. Um, but it's just, it makes such a difference. Yeah, I, well, I'd make it my default, but I have so many different installs that I don't really have a default. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I know where the labs are. I physically know where they are, but... The marking for labs on the map doesn't exist. Okay, we're putting down broken train track because that's what the bots gave us. Uh, I watch ya! Hey, you mate, welcome back. Uh, I'm happy to hand out tips. Uh, tips: Tell your mummy you love her. And remember that whatever the missus says, chances are she's right. Unless she's wrong, at which point, good fucking luck to you. Uh, and with that, I'm going to finish this demonetized video. I'm going to go for a break. And then somehow, we're going to have to hook up... Uh, I missed you nuking Gongri. I didn't nuke it. I used artillery, because we have artillery now. Um, I'm going to have to work out our loading stations in here shortly. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take a chance to hit the ad break, come back in like two minutes, because yeah, it's 12.30 at night, um, boo, hey, you Bilbo, yeah, look, I'm, I'm hitting the ad break button, because it turns out stream, uh, no, Twitch really definitely reminds me that if I run an ad, people don't have to watch the intro ads or whatever they're called the pre-roll ads um for the next hour so they really incentivize you to run it every hour and funny enough no it's every 20 minutes actually if i run an ad they incentivize you to not they disable the pre-roll ads for 20 minutes or maybe it's an hour just had to watch it so there you go so i even though it still says it's disabled according to twitch right now so i'm going to click the ad I'm going to go, I'm going to get myself a drink, all that sort of stuff. I'll be back in one minute or less. So, be right back. Unfortunately for you guys watching on YouTube, it's probably going to be 24 hours, not a minute. Like, it's one of those catches. Had you gone and clicked the Twitch link down in the description and came and followed me on Twitch, you could have watched this live on Twitch, at which point it would have been less than a minute for you. But you watch it on YouTube, so that means you're going to have to wait 24 hours. I'd apologize, but I do offer you the option to watch me live on Twitch. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.